thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. We're so How are you guys holding up right now in, in this, this social distancing era we all find ourselves in? Well, we're used to, I work from home, she works from home, Jaden's always home, so Champ's always home, so this is just yeah. a thing for us. I just don't have to work. So. Yeah, another day in the life. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I want to start off by just diving right in. The stunts that you two do are incredible. You've gone viral. You guys have legions of fans. How does it feel as a family at this point to be famous, to just have skyrocketed into this, this new level of being known? Well, it feels it, weird. You can ask the ladies it's first. It's so surreal a little bit. Because I think in our little small niche world, they're kind of okay. used to seeing us stunt and do these things. Um, but on such a large scale, it's been a little bit surreal. Just like people reaching out and being like, oh my gosh, we saw you here. We saw you there. So it's been yeah. so to kind of watch. Hey, <laughs> Hi, and what does it mean for you all as a family to be able to provide so much joy and inspiration right now, especially when I feel like we all need it more than ever. Um, and it's such a bright spot to see these videos and smile a little bit when there's so much uncertainty. What does that mean to you as a family to be a part of really uplifting our global community? Anyone who can watch those vids. So I think, um, so I've had kind of a social media presence prior to all of this. Mm -hmm. um, and more than ever, probably a few weeks ago, I really wanted deep down to just share joy and share positivity and be a place on social media that did that. And it's just so ironic that this kind of took place during this at time. time of yeah, at a time yeah. Of I feel like we should be sprinkling joy into social media and sharing something like this with the world. It's just such a blessing to be able to do that, especially now more than ever, I feel like. Yeah. So, That's you know. not why we started sharing the videos, yeah. so to speak, but I guess we continued at a good time um, because we try to see the brighter side of things. And, you know, I didn't know that the videos were so uplifting. I'm just done with my daughter having fun. I thought they yeah. were cool. Everyone's like, oh, this made my day. And then I sat back and thought, like, people are really going through things right now, you know, with the world, you know, the whole coronavirus. Um, and it's nice to shine a light in someone's life. And any yeah. chance I get to do that, we try to take advantage of it. Yeah. Now, Roland, we have officially named you one of Access Hollywood's ultimate girl dads. <laughs> so we'll have to send you, you know, a little trophy to flag. <laughs> How does it feel? to know that not just with us but across the board you you have that inspiration and you are encouraging and inspiring an entire group of fathers to bond with their daughters in a really new and special way well it really hits me for personal reasons um at a way higher level like whenever i found out i was having a daughter i was like, i'm going to be in this girl's life i'm going to take care of her and make her because she didn't ask to be here you know so why not provide the best life that you can and everyone knew that she was going to be a flyer just because i'm known for like stunt. <laughs> Um, it feels good. Like all these dad pages are telling me, like, oh, I had some guy tell me some really deep stuff about his family life. And, you know, just the fact that I can like show that there are good dads. I'm not going to call myself a good dad. You know, I'm mm -hmm. not. Perfect, but um, there are dads who are active in their child's life. Um, and I think that dads in general kind of get like a bad reputation in some areas. And I just want to be I want to go against the odds. And it feels yeah. good to do so. Yeah. When it comes time to making it happen, the practices, all of the stunts, like how much work and effort goes into that? Because I saw one and I fell out. Like, okay, like I just, I just, my knee went out watching y'all do what you did. <laughs> I do not even uh, comprehend it because it's so impressive and so outside of my league. What goes into those stunts? How do you pull those off? How many days a week, how many hours a day are you two practicing for that? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, yes. How much you practice this? <laughs> everybody, everybody, everybody. Zero. <laughs> but I, somebody else asked me this, and it just kind of hit me because I feel like what we do is like everyday normal. Like, it's just like, this is legitimately what happens in our yeah, household no, we don't practice daily. Like, like, we don't set a time and say, okay, we're going to practice, you know, two times a week, like all those things. It's just, it literally just happens. Like, he could yeah. be in the studio, and she's like, Daddy, I want to stunt. And so they'll, go through what's that like it's just i think since yeah. we started she was so young it's just been yeah well, now we practice what twice a day we'll yeah. go we practice on instagram live 
And so we'll go live and everyone can watch and she loves whenever she receives smileys. Um, yeah. So we'll Instagram live and practice once in the morning so people can see and once in the afternoon so people can see. And then, you know, it helps me out because she performs for smiley faces and she really likes it. <laughs> and so, you know, she just wants smiley faces and balonies. Really? Simple girl. She, it's the simple things in life. I like her style, smiley faces. We can do that. Stephanie, how old was she when she first started uh, practicing? You said she started really young, right? Yeah, if I had to recall, and I have tons of videos saved on my phone, but probably as soon as she could sit up and kind of hold her own weight, he would toss her and toss her to like chair, and she would just sit in his hand really? and she would laugh and giggle. She just thought it was the coolest thing ever. Oh. And then when she could eventually stand and hold her own weight, he would throw her up and catch her feet because yeah. they naturally have that reflex. But I mean, before she could walk, before she could talk. Old house. Uh, yeah. Different old. houses, <laughs> different life stages. She's, it's, I don't know. It was just yeah. something funny when she was super young, like six months, maybe. Starting at six months. Wow. And how old is she now? She just turned four a month ago. Just turned four a month ago. Okay, already more talented than I am at 31, but that's neither here nor there. Um, Dad, how how did she push you to go higher, to reach for more, to sort of up your game? By hitting stunts. Mm. <laughs> I'm obviously gonna make it harder because I get bored easily. And the cool <laughs> thing about stunting, um, I've been stunting for years and I've never ran out of challenges. Like, there's no challenge. Like, there was no time where I couldn't make a stunt harder. So she pushes me, to, you know, in all aspects of life, to be honest. Um, you know, I want to be present in her life. But in the stunting realm, it's like, if you hit a stunt, I'm going to make it harder. And so she pushes me to make it harder for her. And then in return, we get a cooler stunt, I guess. Um, yeah. But from a life standpoint, she just makes me step my game up. I have a lot to lose. I have a lot. Uh, every decision that I make. Uh, the, you know, my family is affected by it. So it's like, yeah. okay, I have to grow now. I gotta be more responsible. I gotta do this and this and this. So she's pushed me in all aspects of life to be a better person um, all around. Yeah, I love that. And you talk about sort of raising your game and upping that level for your family. I mean, one major way to raise the game is to be a part of one of Netflix's most successful productions right now. Oh, yes. Cheer in the music production i mean music is so essential to telling a story and to creating a vibe talk to me a little bit about that process and how you got involved in cheer first of all let's talk about this <laughs> oh, uh, okay so we do the music for my company spirit by productions we do the music for navarro's uh rival so okay. you know I, that uh netflix episode or that series hit me hard but uh, whoa uh oh wait hold on <laughs> <laughs> They tried, the fans are watching. They tried, tried, tried. Okay, keep going, keep going. So can you re that? You just messed up my entire train of thought. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, you me to, I can tee you up. I can tee you up again because we're just recording. So, so. Okay, so speaking of leveling up and upping the ante and raising your game, I mean, it is no small feat to be a part of music production for such a massive show. So talk to me a little bit about your company. Talk to me about what you do and, and also what you think about cheer. Okay, so Spirit Vibe Productions is my company. Um, okay, Spirit Vibe. We service, what, probably 300 or so teams a year. I have a business partner, Christoph Jones. He's in Dallas. We have two studio locations in Dallas. Um, we work with probably 17 to 20 vocalists, and we get to impact thousands and thousands of lives. Like, uh, we go to, we live in Dallas, and NCA is a huge competition that every team comes to for the most part. So we get to go see all of our teams from all across the world come out and just like, we hear our music, like the crowd singing our music, like all these kids. Yeah. There's what, 20, 15 to 20 to 30 people on each team that we get to influence through music. And yeah. personally, I feel that music strikes an emotion. Yeah. And you know, whenever the pyramids hit, the stunt sections hit, you want to feel that emotion. Running to them, you want to feel the drive, keep you pumped up. Um, Cause you know, if you have boring music, it's kind of hard to perform. But yeah, we yeah. love that we get to influence so many people and you know, just stay in the, cheer or the cheerleading world. And whenever I saw the Netflix episode or the series, I was like, wow, that is so cool. And I know some of those people because Will Hernandez is A-Cup. Uh, he's my little, I guess he's my grandson in the cheer world. Uh -huh. Okay, grandson. Got it. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I knew a handful of people on the team and like that is spot on. That's what happens at cheer practice. That's what happens uh, in college cheer. And it's amazing. Unfortunately, Daytona got, uh, not postponed, got canceled this year. So we're Right, not right. 
all of our teams, but uh, we'll, we have next year still. Absolutely. And I mean, speaking of Daytona, and it's so unfortunate how things are evolving, but obviously we're all safer at home right now. And we'll just have to wait until we're able to get back out for the sake of all of us. Um, but people are binging, they're Netflixing, they're watching Cheer. So I heard that Monica from Netflix's Cheer actually gave you a rave review about you and your daughter's skills. So what was your reaction when you first heard about Monica's review? So whenever I saw it, I think I was like in, I was right here on my phone. Cause like my phone was just like, and then said, I saw the, oh my God. Yeah, I was like, Monica, I ran into the bedroom and so funny. And cause I saw the blue check mark. I was like, wait, Monica, Monica, I'm like, how do you know about my daughter? And yeah. then after that, I was like, wow. Cause like cheerleading is a small world. Like, if you know, one person, you know, everyone. So it's like, right. kind of nice. Like, you know, I've never met her before. She's not, too uh -huh. I've never met her before, but whenever I saw that, we went crazy. And I was like, okay, it's game time. <laughs> really? Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Monica! <laughs> Surprise! Say hi. Hi. Hi, Jaden. Hi, Jaden. Say hi, Monica. Say hi. Hi. There we go. Monica, talk to me a little bit about what it was like for you, your first thoughts when you saw these amazing stunts that these two were performing. Well, someone had tagged me in one of his videos, and of course, I went down the rabbit hole. I was looking at everything, and first of all, she's the most adorable thing I've ever seen, and she's doing stuff that's very difficult, very difficult at the college level, and it requires a really, um, a lot of core strength, strength that a lot of adults don't have, and mm -hmm. it's so impressive, and I just think that they're the cutest father-daughter team ever. And um, I'm, I'm working on getting that uniform for her so they can come down and show off some of their skills. I love it. That's what I was going to ask. Do we feel like little, I think we all know the answer to this, but I'll ask it anyway. Would little Jaden at the collegiate level be on the, the cheer squad with you? Well, I mean, you know, we, I, I told him we can definitely make her a mascot and then hold that spot when she's age eligible for sure. Right. <laughs> but, but I'm going to work on the uniform for sure. So that's in the work. <laughs> yeah. And mom and dad, what do you all see for Jaden? Obviously, as she continues to show her talents and if she's super into it, is cheer a thing that you would love to see her continue to do through the years? Check this out, okay? So in cheerleading, there are different positions. You know, there's main base, side base, back spot, front spot flyer, uh, you know, tumbler. Jaden is not going to be a flyer, more than likely, whenever <laughs> she grows up. She's small now, but she's like 99th percentile and like size. So she's, you know, she's a big little girl. Uh, <laughs> she, she's going to get a little taller. Her from being able to cheer. I don't think she's going to be up in the air, maybe mid layer, but we're going to push her. She, we just started her at Woga Gymnastics um, about a month okay. ago. But we're going to push this as far as we can take it. And then the second she says, I don't want to do it, you know, then we'll reconsider. But until she yeah. says that, you know, we're going to keep pushing for it. That is so analytical, <laughs> obviously, with his <laughs> But I think from, from Mama Bear, I am very much so like, we'll ride this until she, you know, doesn't want to do it anymore. But she just yeah. has natural joy doing it. Like, I started going down a rabbit hole of, like, old videos of when she was yeah. really And she is just giggling and laughing, and she asks to stunt all the time. So as long yeah. as she's doing it, we are, we're all about it. So yeah. as long as she's. I love that. I love that. Monica, I want to ask you, when you watch those videos of Roland and Jaden, what did it mean to you? What did you love most about seeing that sort of father-daughter dynamic in those videos? Well, I think, like she said, the joy, it, she just looks so happy. And, and a bond between a father and a daughter is very special. And when you're able to do something that you, you both love, it's even that more special. And um, I just, it just brings happiness, especially a time right now where we're all just kind of scared and trying to figure out what's going on in the world. It's so, it just brings happiness to everyone. Yeah, I love that. Mommy and dad, uh, do you guys watch Cheer? How big of fans are you all? Is, and Listen, we binge the whole series. I watched it. <laughs> yeah. One sitting. I made a sandwich and I just went to town. <laughs> yeah. After it aired, I had so many people reach out to me, like, <laughs> just going down rabbit holes of, like, checking out, you know, Gabby's Instagram or whatever and finding videos of Daytona. And I got messages like, wait, I think I just saw your husband, like, walk past in the background. Like, is that him filming? And then, like, during yeah. stuff, stuff, I was like, oh, yeah, that's him. So it's yeah. crazy. <laughs> and Monica, 
are we gonna get an invite out to Jaden? I don't know. This we might be talking twenty thirty something at this point for your <laughs> camp in the future. Yeah. Hey, we're gonna we'll we'll make sure and put uh, like I said. I'm gonna get the uniform and we're gonna have some okay. special posts. She's gonna be our little mascot. I have a feeling. So you'll get to okay. see her way before then. We're gonna yeah. Oh. <laughs> and while I've got you here, Monica, I've got to ask. I've just started watching Cheer. I'm obsessed with it, just like everyone else. Is it coming back for season two? When will we find out? Is it up in the air? You know, I just don't know. We're just excited Ooh. for okay. season one and still enjoying <laughs> the ride with that. <laughs> okay, well, we'll keep our fingers crossed for you guys for season two. We're loving season one in the meantime. Monica, thank you so much for surprising the family. Thank yes, you. I can't That's wait to meet in person. Thank, thank you. you. I'll see you all soon. Monica. Bye. <laughs> all right, so. Back to the questions. Okay, I've got a few more for you guys. Stephanie and Roland. Um, yeah. We'll get back on track with, I wanna, is Jaden gonna talk a little bit or is she kind of? Talk to him? I think that lollipop yeah, got to her, she but she smiles. might. Oh. Hi, Jaden. The smileys. Can you answer some questions for her? I think she wants to ask you some questions. Yeah. And she's gonna give you some maybe a wave even? I'd say hi. Hi, Jaden. Hi! Oh, yay! <laughs> that just made my day. I love it. Jaden, do you love to cheer? Do you love doing stunts with your dad? Yeah? She's got to hear you. You got to talk louder. Can she hear you? Do you like stunning with daddy? Yeah. Yeah, you do. Do you know that you're really, really famous right now? Are you? Did you know you're famous? That everyone loves you. Does everybody like you? Know you what famous means, mama? Yeah. You're so talented. <laughs> and smart and beautiful. Everyone just loves watching you and your stunts. You say thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're so welcome. <laughs> I want to ask you guys, mom and dad, about Kristen Bell uh, having posted a video. How does that feel to have someone like her being like, oh my God, I love what you guys are doing. That was crazy because I didn't, okay, so first of all, I was sitting on the stairs just going through my phone or whatever and then out of nowhere, it was like, Stop, Jay. It was like brrr, notification. I'm like, what notification happened? And then I messaged a lady who followed me. I'm like, hey, this curious, where did you find my page from? She was like, oh, Kristen Bell posted you. I'm like, wait, what? So I went to the <laughs> page. I'm like, oh my gosh. Yeah, so after that, that's kind of what kind of set it off. Quite yeah. yeah. That was crazy. I was trying to tell her, I was like, do you know Anna? Do you know Anna? And she's like, oh, that she doesn't look like Anna. I'm like, no, 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 like the voice. <laughs> the voice. What do you hear? What do you hear? Yeah. She's like, I need Anna and Elsa. I'm like, hey, you gotta like. Oh, yeah. Oh, like, they I love it. You know what? I love the But She's like, no, I'm going to put it out there. I need both, okay? Yeah. <laughs> so before we wrap up, what is the next step for you guys? Like, what are you hoping for the future? Obviously, the future is bright. You're a beautiful family. You have a beautiful little girl here who is so talented. What, what's the plan? What's the next step? Maybe bring another flyer. Ooh, get a little another flyer? <laughs> Stephanie? I don't know. I, it's so, it's been incredible because this is just our daily life. And yeah. to be able to share it on a larger scale, we're just... We're just living life. We're just, yeah. somebody asked me the other day and I said, well, I'm still doing laundry and cleaning the house, so it's pretty normal. <laughs> I'm still a mess sometimes. Like. But hopefully her, yeah. hopefully her college is a little bit brighter after all of this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sure, at the very least. Well, we can't wait to see what is in store for you guys. Wishing you the best. Stay safe during <laughs> this interesting chapter we all find ourselves in. And thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you Jane, so much. Thank you, Bye. Bye, Jaden. Bye. Bye-bye.